There is a draft coming from somewhere. Maybe from the giant hall in my wall? Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. Welcome to episode 48 of How to Run Before You Can Walk Simulator. I mean, Medieval Dynasty Simulator. So, uh, last episode we came and discovered this cave. I've just been mining and realised I'm in a terrible predicament. I am really heavy. <laughs> and can I even walk? Okay, I've got to walk all the way back to town. Um, I was looking, interestingly enough, at I can make a mine, but I can't unlock it just yet. So if we go to extraction, um, I can make a mine. I need to get my technology up. So what I was thinking is I'm going to... I've altered my excavation shed to just make stone. And then I've altered my wood shed to collect mainly uh, sticks, 50 sticks a day. And I've got to make knives, so I realised actually in my workshop, no, in the who was it now? In production in Smithy, I didn't have anyone in here, so I put Drogomira in here. Now I think you're actually pregnant. Yeah, you're pregnant, but you should be able to walk, work there. But we seem to have completely run out of water again, so oh, I'm going to have to go back and deal with this. Uh, there's no one really that can go on the the water, so I'm going to have to run back and sort out this water situation. So, already it starts. <laughs> Let's get back to town. Okay, here we are. I'm back at town. I'm going to now make a load of water in buckets for the villagers because I've got no one no one actually does this as a job so I'm having to do this all myself and then hopefully once this is put into the storage room there they will stop uh, complaining so it's really quick to actually do this water but I think it's just a bit of a an oversight on my village. Right, I'm um, gonna go all the way over here to food and storage, and I'm so cold. I'm so cold and wet. So let's get in here. And if we put in here, bucket of water, 10. Hopefully everyone is gonna be happy now. Right, let's check them out. There you go, we're all happy again. <laughs> We've got water, Shales is providing for us. Okay, so I need to do the, I need to un, I need to do that technology thing. So I've got to keep an eye on this now and make sure this is going up. So it's on one three five five point one at the moment. So I need to just make sure that we're actually got stuff making things. So you should be making knives. And hopefully we've got enough stuff to keep going doing this. I've actually got no one doing uh, farming at the moment because there's nothing they can really do at the moment. Unsown. Um, I think that should be carrots and flat. Has there been a bit of a problem with the sewing? I'm pretty sure we're in the right season for doing all this. Let me just double check a second. What season are we in? We're in autumn, yeah. I don't think we can really... We don't really tend to plant anything in autumn, do we? I've not really got onions or anything planted. Um, anything in winter? No. I mean, carrots. Carrots can be done in winter, so that means they will be done eventually. Um, it seems to be a lack of bags in here, though, doesn't there? Let me double check. I was making... We should be having a little output of simple bags in here. Okay, wow. <laughs> do, you, do, you know, do you know when I set production up a couple of days ago, I did not realise I had so many simple bags made. Um, we're, we're gonna, we go for these like... It's bottles of prime though, so I'm going to stick a load of bottles in here. I don't think... It doesn't say they're missing the stuff though, does it? Who's complaining about that? 
I don't think any, any of the walls are really terrible, are they? Any of the houses that terrible? Um, not really. The woodshed's complaining. See, I don't understand this woodshed. See, the thing is, the woodshed is complaining that they have no resources. However, there's trees. And as far as I'm aware, they only need to chop trees and collect resources. Maybe it's the maybe it's because of the firewood. They've not got enough logs. I'm not making a huge amount of logs, am I? I should really go and check. There's there's no there's no easy way of checking the houses to see if they've got firewood, I don't think, apart from clicking on it like that. See, I don't think we're actually getting enough firewood. <laughs> should I actually go and maybe... Yeah, I feel a little bit guilty. I think maybe I should go and chop a few trees down and plonk them in there and... You know, help out a little bit. Oh, I want to go and check my chickens as well, because... Uh, <laughs> yes, rooster! Have we got any eggies? We have got some little eggies, look. But, okay. I'm getting eggs and feathers. Nice. Does that mean I can do recipes yet then? Because I did want to make fried... Let me see. I wanted to do fried eggs. Oh, I need I need three eggs and wooden bowls. Yeah, I don't think, I think it's better if I have someone else doing the meals though. I don't think there's any advantage to me doing it. I think it's easier if I let them deal with that. Let, let me stick my eggies in here. There you go. I've got 84 raw meat as well. I think that's from the, um, the bear. Wait a minute. Let me, let me store that in there a second. Have I got too much stuff in here? I do have I do have an awful lot of raw meat. Um I don't I don't think I've really got any have I got cabbages? Right, I've got loads of cabbages. Do you think I should maybe get someone working in here as a chef and get them to make stew uh potage? Um it's salted meat, though. Oh, we can make normal one, though. I reckon we could do that, you know. I reckon I make a load of bowls. Right, let me go and check bowls, because I was making it at one point bowls, but I think maybe I stopped it because we were making other stuff. How many wooden bowls have I got? I've got 15. Okay, I am going to need someone to work in there though, but I do have a lot of farmers just sitting around. You know what, let's get let's get one of the farmers and have them do some cooking in the kitchen. Because if we can improve this technology skill, let me see, where's it gone? 1355, five. yeah, maybe if we do cooking, that's going to improve that and then we'll be happy days, right. Management, uh, kitchen... I need someone to work in here. Who is going to be good at cookie cooking? I don't know what the, the trait is for it. I'm assuming that it is uh, production. Um, uh, farmer, level two, level three. Let's get... Let's get Dida in here. Just for no apparent reason. Okay, so I could roast meat. I could make potage. Let's have a go at making some potage. Let's have you just making that. See, that's a really low output, isn't it? Look at that. 2.87 a day. Maybe I could have you roasting meat as well. Is it because of the skill level that you've got, maybe? Um, let's get you do some roasted meat as well. Now, the thing with this is, they're still complaining they've not got any equipment. So 
So I thought they took the meat from this, the food storage. But do I have to put the stuff in there for them? Let's see. I'm going to take, say, I don't know, 50 cabbages. I've already got some meat on me. And we need wooden bowls as well. Let's grab a few wooden bowls. I think I've only got like 15 wooden bowls. We are going to have to... Well, 14. That That's obviously gone down a little bit. Okay, let's see. Now, if I stick this in here... If I stick the meat in there... And the cabbages in there... And then the wooden bowls in there... Here we go. Here we go. Here comes the chef. Come on. If you don't put a white chef's hat on, I'll be upset. Okay. We are roasting some meat. So let's have a little look at the equipment for this now. So, uh, kitchen. Still complaining about no resources, though. Interesting. I don't know why they are complaining they have no resources. Because it's a bit like the do for one with the logs. They were complaining they had no resources. So I said I was going to chop a tree and I've got distracted by cooking. So let's go and chop a tree down, get some logs. Here's one I chopped earlier. So we will bash you. Okay. Cold. And we're cold again. Yeah, so we need to go to the woodshed now. And stick some logs in that. If I could find a woodshed. I think it's this one. Um, let's give you... Let's give you some logs in there. Now, does that fix your problem now with... You have no logs. So let's go to production. Go to... Ex no, extraction. Woodshed. Still complaining about no resources. Not on that one, though, interestingly enough. Because you're making logs, sticks, and firewood. So you should... Should be okay. I was fair about this trait, so... This one here is we are we require sixteen logs a day. Um, well, we're going to use sixteen logs a day, and we're actually we're going to be collecting fifty sticks a day and producing seventy eight firewood a day. Now, the thing I'm struggling with is I don't know how much these use for like firewood. It doesn't say on here. It says like. One day is 60. Surely that can't be right. That can't be you're using 60 firewood a day. Because it's the same with the uh, water. See, I don't, I don't trust that stat at all. But maybe it is. Maybe I need to have more people working in some of these things. Because that's only like the level 1 woodshed. I've not even looked at it yet. Can, can I do a level 2 woodshed? Yeah, we need more tech. I mean, the technology is going up a little bit now. So, maybe that's a good sign. Um, right. I do have a ridiculous amount of bags. What are you doing at the moment? He's just not... <laughs> he's not doing anything. Why will he not work? Oh, that's Rados. What's, what's Rados actually do as a job? Oh, yeah. Th there's no farming at the moment. I mean, I, I could stick you in some of the other jobs... We've got, like, the well. Uh, that's not got anyone in it. What, what other jobs aren't being used? I've not got anyone in the hen house. And I've not got anyone in... I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, the well and the hen house. We've also got a damaged house as well. Um, That is damaged. I need to figure out how to fix it. Actually, let me go and look how to fix that. And we'll go and fix that next. Okay, so according to the wonders of Google... Oh, sorry, my lady. According to the wonders of Google, 
that you only need to repair stuff when it drops to uh, red. So even though it says one of the houses is damaged, I don't think it actually is. So I think we should be okay. Right. Um, we're still a little bit short of people doing stuff though. So we're not running a lot of these things at the maximum cap capability. So for instance, excavation shed, I've only got like one person in it. We could have two. Um, I've also got level one woodshed. I've got a feeling I should be able to get like level two woodshed. Oh, we need to unlock that. Um, is there any other buildings I can actually upgrade? We've got Hunting Lodge 2, which we are... I think we're actually using that, aren't we? Hunting... See, we've only got one person hunting. Right, let's sort that out then. I'm going to go and build another house. And then I am going to get one person doing extra hunting. And I'm going to try and maybe stick someone i don't feel like it's worth putting them in the hen house just yet no i don't think we need that just yet i mean we've got the the pigsty getting us manure that, that that hardly gets any a day though it's really terrible i don't know why it's so bad i'm better off just getting the cabbages and throwing them outside in fact i'm gonna do that before i forget so new house and cabbages manure stuff coming up Okay, I'm doing a little bit of an experiment at the moment. The, ha the cabbages are too heavy for me to carry, so I'm trying a little bit of an experiment. I've dropped them on the floor. I'm going to see if this works. I'm going to see if my plan works. So if I take the cabbages like that, look, I can't move. If I go to inventory, hold down X on this, I throw the cabbages. So look, you can you can use that to, to like dump stuff outside. So look. Those cabbages are now going to rot outside. And I could do it nearer the building. So if I go near this way. Now, I don't know if this is like a thing people know about or if it's like a ridiculous thing I'm doing. So you can't... It would take ages to get it there, but I, I, I guess it would be possible to move it all the way like this. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a while, though. And there's going to be lots of rolling. Anyway, back to building that house. Okay, so gone to bed and we've got something in the night. A thief. A thief has been caught red-handed trying to steal your resources. He tries to make excuses and convince you he did it because of poverty. Now it's up to you to decide what to do with him. So I can cut his hands off, order someone to cut his hands off, or let him go and banish him. That's pretty harsh um shall i let him go and banish him let's try that one i don't know if i should be evil or good or okay some of your supply okay one percent of crafting items got removed oh no lost i lost supplies um yeah anyway i'm gonna go back to building because i'm building my house and as you can see i've got a lot of building to do and it's winter Boo! <laughs> Back to building. Okay, I think that's been pretty much done then. So we've built another house there. That's going to be another new home for the people. I did notice as well, I'm going to finish the video now. I did notice there was a problem with one of the houses. Look, so this house is actually damaged. And I can actually repair that now. I need four straw. So hopefully that is going to be... There you go, 100% now. So I don't know if that was the house they were complaining about in the list. It's Funky House, apparently, that's, <laughs> that's damaged. Funky House. Which one was Funky House? Charles's crib. Um, I think I can see it over here. Okay, no, the smithy is really damaged as well. Okay, yeah, this is the one. Oh, I've broke me hammer. Right, let me go and make another hammer. Okay, so we're going to end this video now. I'm going to repair my barn a little bit because that apparently is damaged. And then we'll finish off by repairing Funky House. And then that should be...
perfect once we've finished this. It's funny how it's all gone broken at the same time now. And hopefully now that should get rid of the negative. Yeah, there you go. All repaired. So we've um, done bits and pieces in this video. We've, uh, we've built a new house. I've discovered my production totally sucks. So we are now making more stuff. Hopefully I'm going to have enough um, research points to do the mine soon. Because that's gone up by about 100. So we've still got a lot more stuff we need to make. And... We are making a lot more knives and stuff now because I checked the stocks before and we have got a silly amount of knives at the moment. I've got uh, 69 knives. Anyway, that is it now for Medieval Dynasty episode 48. Thank you for watching. Any suggestions, don't forget to comment below and let me know any little extra tips. Anyway, that is it for now. See you next time.